Hello again and welcome back to another episode of the DDoF Observatory and today I'd like to present to you a very special cosmic event because it only appears every 80 years making this a definitely once in a lifetime experience and I'm talking about a so-called Nova and what it is exactly, how you can spot it and when especially, <laughs> I'm going to show you in this video so definitely stay tuned. First of all, we have to talk about what a nova actually is. Um, well, you may have heard about a supernova. Um, we're not both the same. Uh, a supernova is an explosion of a massive star that's running out of fuel um, at the end of its lifespan. Um, a nova, on the other hand, is a temporary brightening of a star um, after it fades black, uh, so you could not see us with your naked eye uh, on the night sky, usually. But uh, this could happen multiple times, uh, periodically. Um, a supernova does not. It only, appear, uh, <laughs> it only explodes once, because, well, after that, we have no more star. Um, but uh, the special nova I want to talk about uh, today in this episode is uh, T Coronae Borealis, located in the Northern Crown constellation in Corona Borealis. Um, by the way, it's not about the virus, that's something else. Um, but um, to understand what's really happening there, we have to travel nearly 2,700 light years to that. And there we um, know, uh, or will notice that it's not only one, but actually two stars. That's a binary star system, and they're orbiting each around each other. Um, it's containing a white dwarf and a red giant. And uh, the white dwarf it's, uh, is very rich in its mass, and it's pulling out matter from the red uh, giant, um, and it's forming around an accretion disk. And sometime, or when enough matter has been formed, um, the energy is stored so huge um, that it eventually uh, explodes in a massive thermonuclear reaction. And this explosion creates a huge bright, uh, or creates huge amounts of light. And that light uh, could be seen from Earth. And uh, it appears as a new sky, uh, or as, as a new star in the night sky. And T Corona Borealis is a recurring nova, meaning it becomes thousands of times brighter than it is before. Um, but when will it happen? Well, scientists found out that it will occur between February and August this year. But how do we know that exactly? How could we calculate that? Well, um, we have to take a look um, at actions that happened in the past. Of course, the white dwarf dims itself because it goes to Nova. And it did that last year in March. And the same procedure started um, in the year 1946, uh, nearly 80 years ago. And before that, it did that also in the year 1866. And uh, <laughs> the recordings go all the way past, uh, all the way back to the 1300, uh, to the 1300th century. And because we know the actions in the past that happen uh, periodically, we uh, can make conclusions um, about the future. And so, uh, well, as a result that uh, it started dimming the white dwarf itself uh, last year in March, um, we can know that it will go supernova somehow or sometimes here uh, between February and August this year. So where exactly can you really find T Corona Borealis? Well, you have to look for the Northern Crown constellation. And uh, you can find us between the left arm of Bodies and Hercules constellation. And there it is squished between those two. And the Nova itself you can find here at this location right here on the left side of the crown in this area, you should definitely take a look at this uh, direction. And uh, the nova itself will be actually as bright as uh, Polaris, the northern star, um, with a magnitude of 2. So you can definitely see this with your naked eye in the night sky, uh, without any fancy astronomical gear. It uh, will be visible throughout uh, some days, and uh, then afterwards will be less dimmer but uh, you can still see us with uh, binoculars 
and then it will be dim again and could remain so for the next 80 years, uh, making this truly a once in a lifetime experience. So you should definitely go check out this for yourself at an Asteri uh, Sky and uh, take a look for yourself. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you want to check out more information, you can uh, visit our website or come for yourself here at our observatory. Uh, we are open free every Friday afternoon or evening at 8 p.m. Uh, so you can check out for yourself and have a visit. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and comment below. And uh, I see you next time for the next episode. Bye.